Hi Aquarius and welcome to your love story, my twin flame love tarot reading. This is a timeless tarot reading. Um, your twin flame is your twin flame. So whether you watch this in December of 2017 when I upload it or at any point in 2018, it really uh, does not matter. It's truly a timeless video speaking about the energy between you and your twin flame for this lifetime. Now, this is a general reading, so this may or may not fit, okay? And this reading is going to be very specific, so if the details and facts don't really resonate with you, then this reading probably isn't for you. But some of you may have met your twin flame already and maybe you're with them maybe you guys are disconnected at this time and for some of you you haven't met this twin flame yet so it will truly be different for all of you so with that said um oh and all the decks i'm using in this reading along with the meaning of their placement in this reading is listed in the top comment below this video so I highly recommend you take a look at that just to get a better idea of, you know, what's going on in this reading. So let's get started, Aquarius. I'm going to draw some cards to look at your energy specifically and your twin flames energy specifically for this life, like who you guys are as people. So you are coming out as a spiral dancer, circulus route perception. So Aquarius, <laughs> I with this card, many of you feel like um, with, I'm going to say your twin flame specifically, uh, you kind of feel like it's the same thing over and over again. Like you might feel like this life is about like the same experiences over and over again but the truth is they're not the same experiences okay each time you circle back around something you have the opportunity to change your perception about it and to come into a new understanding about a situation or a person or why things really happened the way they did and look at things from a more divine perspective okay and for the Aquariuses, and this for that this reading is for your uh, life, like your soul path for this life. You have a big time this energy where you're gonna feel like you're kind of repeating the same things, and even you know with your twin flame, I uh, I feel for many of you this person is gonna be somebody that you date and you break up with and you get back together at some point okay just because this card came out so I hate to say that but you know honestly a lot of twin flames that's the energy they come together and at some point they separate and it's not because they don't love each other but there's some things in life that we have to learn on our own and face on our own okay so you might feel as though um, coming back with this twin flame it, it will be the same thing again but it, it's not and nothing you're experiencing is truly the same thing okay you're bringing back around being brought back around because there's more information for you there's more that you didn't see there's more that you didn't perceive okay and for many of you you might feel like oh my twin flame you know you might not even consider them your twin flame and just think they don't love you but that's not the case so let's see okay they are coming out as the queen of light illumination enlightenment celebration wow Aquarius your twin flame is a very very spiritual being okay I'm just gonna put that out there based on this card here and uh, for many of you this might actually be a water sign or somebody with a lot of water energy in their chart okay because the queen of the light is somebody who 
is very spiritual, very connected in to the universe. Um, they could be a humanitarian, they could be like an animal advocate, things of that nature. But also, they have an energy about them where they want to celebrate life like small little subtle things about life are magical to them and that might be what you know captivates you to them is just they're magical to you and you they're they see the world and life and reality and the whole existence of mankind in such a different way than you do that's what pulls you into them and it's like there's just this magic air about them and things sent, like seem to always work out for them and you know a lot of people look to them for advice spiritual advice or counseling of some kind you know people consider this person a really good friend so for you I feel like they are the key that helps you shift your perception about life, about reality, you know, about everything that you've been through, about these patterns that you feel like you continually repeat over and over again. So there's great illumination for you. Many of you are intended to awaken on a high spiritual level this lifetime in the partnership of your twin flame okay very strong energy of that Aquarius so um, if you don't your twin flame is somebody that you feel a profound spiritual connection to like they might be not even what you typically go for or anything like that okay but there they are and you just feel it and they make you feel a way that you don't feel with anybody else like I said with celebration being attached to this energy for some of you meeting them is like it brings you back to life okay and for others of you it's even like if you think they're not compatible for you which they are I mean they're your twin flame but some of you might not think that it's like you don't mind it you're like I will accept that I will tolerate that I just I'm so enamored by you. I'm so fascinated by you. Okay. And again, they really help pull you out of this energy of where you feel like you're just kind of repeating the same things over and over and over again. It's like they bring the illumination into your life and help you understand. So let's pull a flames card to... See what the energy is of your spiritual connection, okay? We have the Five of Flames. Yep, just like I said, uh, many of you, there's a lot of conflict within about this twin flame. Is this the right one for me? Because, like, on one level, you know, like you see here, the sun depicted in the sky. They're the sun in the sky. But there's just some things where I feel like you guys don't fully click. And it's not because you aren't meant to be together you know we all have our challenges but for whatever reason either you or your twin flame feels very conflicted um, about the connection okay so your soul connection the way that it's initially felt is very confusing to you um, it might be like a bit too much because for many of you it's you've never felt it before you've never had that kind of connection with somebody so it could be very frightening it can you know seem uh, like you won't be in control or as if somebody's trying to manipulate you or you know things like that so initially there's conflict within you or within them or both of you okay but with the sun here it's like you are their sun in the sky and they are the sun in your sky regardless of these internal conflicts or these outright differences that would deem you guys incompatible okay but you're not I mean if it's your twin flame you're not incompatible even if the situation is presenting you with such information okay twin flames grow you and help you overcome your hardest challenges in life but we all get there on our own 
who stands beside us is only support and can only walk the journey with us. They can't do it for us, okay? So let's take a look at your physical foundation, your physical um, connection. Seven of Crystals. So um, with this, this does speak true of like how I said, I feel you'll break up and get back together. This to me is where you've put energy and effort and work into something, but um, it's, you're waiting for the results, okay? So for some of you, it's like you guys come together physically and then there's disconnection and you come together physically and then there's disconnection and it, there's like this element of waiting you know no matter what you do and um, for others of you what I get about this this physical connection um, the foundation is that to be with your twin flame or for them to be with you maybe you guys one of you needs to relocate somewhere else or due to job or for whatever reason maybe there is that element where you have to relocate and it leaves you feeling segregated and separated from your friends and family or leaves them feeling segregated and separated from their friends and family okay but there is this element of waiting for things to finally fully physically solidify with this card okay this is your physical foundation so the way I look at this energy is the the initial the onset you know when you you're first coming together and any challenges that you guys may face with each other so um, an element of waiting and patience is needed that might be why there's these internal conflicts about you know, is this the right person for me due to these obstacles? But this is your twin flame. So, yeah, this is the right person for you. And, you know, any obstacle or challenge you face, you agreed to that before you came here with them, okay? So this is going to be your emotional connection. We have the Eight of Cups. Okay, again, this is that energy of walking away and paired up with this it's like for some of you you guys could have been in a relationship for like five to eight years and then you guys break up okay and again it doesn't mean that you're broken up forever there are some things in life that we have to experience on our own without our twin flame or even without the close connection of anybody else okay that's just life in general so for the Aquarius I'm reading for, I definitely feel like there's this point where you guys break up with each other, okay, and you go your separate ways, but, you know, we'll pull, obviously, lots more cards to see, you know, do you guys come back together, or is that just the way it is? I mean, I personally feel like Twin Flames will always be together, so, but for you guys, there's this element where you walk away from each other for whatever reason and you need to trust that that is exactly how it needs to be for now and with this seven of crystals it's like one of you will wait for the other till the end of time like it doesn't matter it's like I'm not moving on I'm not gonna get with anybody else I'm going to wait for you to come back to me because I know that you are the one so this here is the orbs card this is the challenge that you guys have we have the two of orbs, very interesting. So this is about blocking out. So there's an element, the challenge between the two of you where either you, and I, I feel Aquarius, I'm sorry, I feel like it's more you just based on the energy that your twin flame is showing up as, where you really struggle to fully reveal yourself emotionally and soulfully like the way that this person can okay and it's almost like they demand that of you it's like look at here is my soul here is my heart I need you to show me that in return and I feel like you just you struggle with that a little bit for whatever reason okay um, 
you might not be as open as your twin flame is emotionally and so it feels like there's this element where one of you or both of you block each other out at various points and it's due to this incompatibility that you perceive is there you know that um both of you perceive is there but it's it's really not it's just you know the challenge that you decided to work with this lifetime with each other but the challenge is feeling blocked from each other so again I feel like you guys live in different locations from each other some of you but um, let's uh, let's pull some sexual tarot to look at your intimate energy and connection And you know what? For some of you, either you or your twin flame at some point may have some question or some confusion. Are you my twin flame or is this other person my twin flame? Okay, very interesting that that would come out. But with that two of orbs, it's I do see that where you either have great love for two people or your twin flame has great love for two people and so there's maybe some element of confusion at some point of you know who am I really supposed to be with So we have the hanged man. Yeah, this goes right with that seven of crystals. There is this element of disconnection or distance between the two of you, but there's this great desire. And if you notice lying beside her, there's this couple like these little dolls completely bound to each other. But you see her hands are bound and she's not even looking at the man in this picture. And, um, you know, there's restriction here. There's being held back on some level here. And then we have the Four of Wands. But when we do come together, we have a really good time. It's very playful. There's a lot of sexual chemistry. There's a lot of passion. And we have a lot of fun. Mm. And then... Here it is, the sadness again. So it's like we come together, we go apart. We come together, we go apart. I just, Aquarius, many of you, this twin flame of yours for um, either when you guys are first together or at some point in your life, it's like that you are living in different locations or you live really far apart or there is something that prevents you guys from seeing each other often. Okay? And so it's like restriction and then we come together and it's this really good time and then it's sad because we're apart so that could be due to you know location differences but also this could speak to this pattern this where you it's just like the same thing over and over again where you and this person come together and you guys have a lot of fun and you're really connected and then for whatever reason there's disagreements there's friction there's this connection and then you go your separate ways and then you come back together and then the same thing happens over and over again and you're like if this was my twin flame then how on earth would this be what continually happens over and over and the thing is is you need to come into a new perspective okay you really do about the situation here your own behavior your own actions and in doing that whatever needs to be worked out in the energy of your twin flame will in naturally just start to unfold okay so let's take a look at you know the spiritual map of your journey together in this lifetime the energies behind that how that's playing out for you guys and these are just the major arcanas that I'm pulling this information for okay 
we have the moon yes lots of emotion lots of back and forth ebb and flow however deep deep connection reflection here we are being apart from each other but look at that the moon and the light oh my goodness and the great will oh so beautiful I actually um, sometimes the message I get is nothing I could really articulate into words okay but I just I want you to notice this Luna this is your queen of light right here okay whether this is a male or female energy this is the same energy right here this reflection this is you Aquarius do you see this moon and this little lantern how they're coming towards each other okay what this represents to me again is this person the ocean and this great big moon all these stars in the sky they're very intuitive they might even be psychic they are such a many of you this is a water sign man it's so strong water here um and i feel like spiritually like their their soul wisdom i don't want to say is more grown than yours but they have far more access to to their soul wisdom than you do okay it's like they were born this life in just knowing things and just being in that element and you showing here as um what would be the hermit in a, a standard tarot deck in reflection is this in this little lantern that's you know quite a bit smaller than the size of this moon though they're giving off the same color of light is this lifetime this twin flame is is pulling you is growing you into becoming the luna card okay into becoming that soul version of yourself that has always existed but you aren't so connected into for whatever reason okay that's what this twin flame is giving to you this lifetime is really pulling you out of yourself in a spiritual way and everything that happens every step of the way everything works out exactly as it was meant to be Aquarius okay it truly does because we have the great will here so it's like it's all meant to be and it will all unfold exactly how it's supposed to even if you feel like it's the same thing repeating over and over it will always feel that way until you change your perspective about things but the one thing that is is for sure here there's great love okay there is great love between you and this person and it's very spiritual like your connection goes beyond the I love you it's like they can read your mind they can feel you they know um, when things aren't going well for you it's just like they can see right through you and that might scare you a little bit and that might be why you have this two of orbs here as the challenge where it's too much for you and you want to block them out because they can just see right through you okay they know everything and it's like you can't hide a single thing from them so let's see how this energy is playing out in the physical realm for you guys Caring connection, yep. Like I said, great love, deep bond between the two of you, despite any challenge. Man holding coin and strategy. Okay, so deep, deep connection, as I've been saying, but man holding coin and strategy. Um, I get the sense that either you or your soulmate, one of you, um, has money or owns your own business or is very money savvy, invests well, okay, one of you has that element about you. And with strategy here, um, I feel like, again, no matter what plays out, there's always going to be this need to come back together. and. I will always find my way back to you. Um, if you are apart from your twin flame at this time, either you or they are trying to think in their head, how can I bring this person back to me? How can I get back there? You might be thinking that as well, okay? Um, but what I see here playing out in the physical realm is 
you guys are very in love it's a true blue connection right there okay one of you might be more focused on money and you turn away from the twin flame because you're like oh this is just too much okay but nonetheless for others of you I feel like you guys start a business of some kind together in this lifetime okay that's on the table because we have caring connection man holding coin and strategy so you guys um, I feel for Aquarius like you guys definitely have this energy about of being wealthy or financially comfortable together okay so let's pull some romance angels to see how this is playing out in the spiritual I'm sorry in the emotional um, realm like how is your emotional connection experience because physically it looks like you guys have a good life together um, materially and uh, one of you or both of you are just very money smart very money wise and I'm gonna say that's probably more on you Aquarius because um, it just this uh, water sign just seems like the spiritual aspect of things not to say they don't have their own money or they can't take care of themselves I just feel like um, they're more in the spiritual realm and you exist more in the physical realm okay and so you're really good at you know making money or providing material and they're really good at you know talking about the philosophies of life and stretching your mind and allowing you to grow into a higher version of yourself like there's just no way to express the wisdom that exists within your twin flame okay it's like they speak the language of the universe Express your love, yep. Again, with this two of orbs, one of you, which I'm going to say it's probably most likely you, just based on how your twin flame's coming through, you have a hard time expressing yourself, your emotions. And then we have deception. But uh, with this card, this is more about the masks that we wear, that where we're holding back and we're not fully expressing everything that we truly feel inside and so sitting next to express your love I feel like there's some holding back pay attention to the red flags okay well with pay attention to the red flags I can't sugarcoat that one on any level Aquarius I'm sorry I feel like um, and that might be why this is the spiral dancer and there might there's blockages there may be some deception in the relationship okay on your side or their side or maybe even both sides okay and you feel that this is we're talking about our emotions here so emotionally either you or they feel manipulated or deceived or betrayed in some way at some point along this journey okay and that might be where strategy comes into play because maybe somebody needs to apologize and ask for forgiveness okay but don't don't just discount and write somebody out of your life if they screwed up one time Aquarius okay you really need to pay attention to the connection that you guys share and maybe you are the one that has done some things and you lost um, connection with your twin flame because of that and you're in this space of trying to strategize on how to get back to them and you know be together once again so even though there's this really deep kindred spiritual connection you guys are going to go through some things that definitely test the relationship and make you question the integrity of the other person but um i don't know i just it looks like your twin flame aquarius is really gonna grow you on a spiritual level this lifetime and you know that's what your connection looks to be about more than anything and with the great will there it you know <laughs> purity yes I don't know what I feel here and this is general so it could go either way with purity coming out it's like one of you is very illuminated enlightened honest true pure all of it and the other one 
is not so much all of those things, okay? This is general, so it could be that you are this queen of light and you are true and you are honest and you have been that all the way through and your twin flame has been the one playing games and maybe being manipulative and not so honest, okay? But it's like one of you is true, blue, and pure and the other one is kind of deceitful and not exactly truthful and maybe even selfish and self-centered and eventually what I feel is the love and the connection between the two of you balances that out and the one who hasn't been honest and true really comes to regretting that and comes to a place of strategy where they want to right the wrong that they have done because it's your twin flame you know you you can't escape each other you will always feel each other even when you are apart from each other all right so we're going to go with that one as your final advice and information from the universe and we got healing yeah so aquarius i feel like many of you have already met this twin flame and there's some things that have happened and you need to allow the healing to happen and take place because you guys are meant to be. You have the great will there. You are meant to be despite what you've been through. Those are only the challenges that you need to overcome as twin flames to grow yourselves on a spiritual level because even though you have this story that you two are going to share this lifetime, you each have your own path for your own soul growth that has nothing to do with each other for this lifetime, okay? That's why sometimes you're together and then other times you're apart. And I just want you to recognize we have two medicine bottles back here. Both of you need great healing and need to let go of some things and come into new perspective, okay? But Aquarius, don't give up on your twin flame. Even if you feel like things are never going to change, they are. Come into a new perspective. It doesn't matter who's right or who's wrong. The moment you change your mind and change your beliefs and your perspective, that changes everything else, okay? And it will change the energy between you and your twin flame. And it will you know, get them on board, get them to change. You just, you don't know, but it, it starts with you. So whatever you, you've gone through or you go through with them, just know it is part of your plan, which you both decided at a spiritual soul level and it's accomplishment. And with healing here, always allow the healing to happen between the two of you. Okay. Because the connection that you guys share is undeniable it's out of this world you will never forget them they will never forget you no matter how far you guys may wander from each other okay your twin flames so Aquarius that's what I have for you I hope that you enjoyed this reading and that I hope it resonated with you take care